Good morning. So I thought it would be cool to show you our last day in the observatory here at one of the Canary Islands, La Palma, up in the mountains at the solar Swedish Solar Observatory where we've been staying for the past uh, week. And uh, if you haven't checked out my first vlog, go check it out to see what it was like on my first day of observations. And today, well, maybe I've learned a few things and know a little bit more. So I thought it would be nice to take you with me and show you. Hold on. So, Jayan, uh, what is it we do after we've opened the telescope? Yeah, so after opening the telescope, the first thing we have to do is to calibrate the instrument and the spectral line we observe it. Uh, so both instruments here, the CRISP and Probis, has a two fabricator etalon. And what we do is to calibrate the both etalons, so high resolution and low resolution etalon, and also we calibrate the spectral line. For example, catch a meter 542 we're observing, we calibrate that, or we observe in edge alpha, we calibrate that. So this is the calibration we do before we observe. So, so Vic, what's your favorite part about the sun? Uh, I like to understand the magnetic fields that we have on the sun. And uh, it's something really interesting to me because the sun as we know it and all the activity that goes on uh, on it, it's basically due to the magnetic field. So understanding that can definitely provide us clues to understanding the sun in a, in a, in a better fashion. No, no, um, I was just saying, I thought, yeah, you, after can, you can remove it. All of it. Yeah. And then we do control C here. Yeah. On both. So yeah. it seems that uh, our giant, Joshi, he is an astrologer. He's been faking <laughs> astrophysics all along and just like working as an astrologer part time too. Yeah. I can predict some. Yeah, and you predicted the future today, right? Yes. You were like, ah, uh, it's gonna drop, the seeing's gonna drop, we're not gonna be able to see anything, and you were right. What? I'm what? Right. What? And look at this. It's like, Giant Joshi. It's his exact name. 
I lost my path and started doing this to physics. <laughs> Hindi, there is a word called Josh which means like you know yeah. lot of passion and enthusiasm. But I mean maybe Joshi. Uh, to me, when I heard this surname for the first time when I was a kid, I thought there are people who are really enthusiastic. Because <laughs> Josh means that you are enthusiastic and you are full of zeal and valor. And uh, and then I met Jan, so who was not that? <laughs> <laughs> so when we came here to the observatory, we thought we were going to be here all alone, apart from the technician. But turns out there is a, a slave from the University of Stockholm, who lives here uh, constantly. Uh, his name is uh, Damien, aka the summer school student. I summer disagree. Job. I'm not a slave. <laughs> no, I'm, 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 I'm sorry. He has two days off, so I'm a week. Paid. So I'm getting paid. He's only five days, five days slave a week. Yeah. <laughs> and today I'm off. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But he's still here, so is he really off? Well, we'll see about that. <laughs> so, what do we do after breakfast? Well, we were hoping for some <laughs> good seeing uh, so that we could actually observe something today, but right now it's not looking great. Um, so, right now, uh, Giant is working on uh, just a compilation, small video of what we had yesterday of observations right now i can show you how the observations are looking you can tell it's not looking good at least it's very blurry right now i am almost at the top of the telescope at least it's the first roof which is here and the telescope itself being up there um, yeah, we've had really bad seeing today, uh, which means that we haven't done any observations yet. We've just been waiting for the right conditions, and they haven't come so far. So we've been working on our individual things, uh, watching a little YouTube, uh, So both me and Suvik ended up getting some fresh air right now and uh, are you feeling melancholic that it's our last whole day here? Uh, not really, given the fact that I come here every year, so uh, yeah, I he, know I'm gonna come back again. He's spoiled, <laughs> spoiled. <laughs> fresh air was well needed after sitting in all day and what better place to do it than here
sown in paradise Shouldn't talk about it I want you We can breathe on the floor Never dance like this before We don't talk about it Dance on To the monkey all night long Sown in paradise Shouldn't talk about it Many might ask why you need to turn the telescope back up after putting the lid on. Well, at least I ask that. And apparently it is because the lens itself is only held there with the help of the vacuum in the telescope itself. So uh, if the vacuum was to malfunction, the lens <laughs> would fall down and break. Yeah. So now after putting the lid on, the telescope will be turned back up. Okay, so the telescope is now down and or closed, closed down, and it is time to make some dinner for me before we head back to the residence to eat. Um, the residents, they have a variety of food every day and it's pretty good for vegetarians but not so great. You can eat and you can get by there as a vegan but I prefer then to just make my own meals. looking at <laughs> do you want to come in the picture <laughs> oh, yeah. well we're just looking at the beautiful colors on the sky and um, okay. thinking of the nice times we had together I didn't know these guys before we came here <laughs> <laughs> but it's been very cool to get to know you guys and we didn't know you also so. no they didn't know me either <laughs> it was mutual so yeah I just want to thank you guys for such an amazing time. From there, we say good night and uh, hope this vlog has been helpful to someone <laughs> to see what we do here at the Swedish Solar Telescope when we observe the sun, even though we didn't really ob <laughs> observe today. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye.